housed in a maze of airlocked sterile rooms in the mother city of Cape Town, a group of young South African scientists are working against the clock to produce the first locally designed and constructed coronavirus vaccine for Africa. This newly established mRNA vaccine hub is hosted by Afrogen and is the first of its kind and scale in Africa capable of producing CGMP material for clinical trials. Their goal is to establish an end-to-end -end sustainable vaccine manufacturing capability independent of first world influence. This mRNA vaccine platform is established through a World Health Organization coordinated multi-partner initiative which will later expand into various under-researched African diseases such as TB and the dreaded Ebola virus. Hi, I'm Deborah Shaw, Marketing Manager of Labatech and with me is Pietra de Blanche, Managing Director and Dr. Karen Fenner, Technical Director of Afrigen Biologics who will tell us more about the technology transfer production plans, significance, and health benefits for the continent. The Afrigen is still in startup phase. We're a biotechnology startup company incorporated in 2014-15. We have created a number of platforms based on in-licensed technology and rights that we have in the vaccine and adjuvant space. Afrigen Biologics is a biotechnology company based in Cape Town. We are centered around two main platforms currently. The first platform is a formulation platform, which is used to increase the stability, bioavailability of active compounds, so pharmaceutical compounds, which are used in medicines, nutraceuticals, and so forth. The second platform within Afrogen is this new mRNA vaccine platform. COVID gave an opportunity with, the, with Afrogen becoming the global mRNA hub uh, through WHO and COVAX initiatives. Uh, Thermo Fisher became one of our key partners in cutting edge technology supply and training of our people. This partnership is a partnership of building together, collaborating with a common goal to create capacity and capabilities on the African continent to make us sustainable in vaccine production and supply. The mRNA vaccine platform is the first platform to be established. It will be operated in a hub and spokes model. How this works is that the specific technology intellectual properties, manufacturing processes are collated within this hub and then disseminated to the various spokes. The hosts of the global mRNA hub consist of Afrogen as the hub, BioVac, which is also a pharmaceutical company based in Cape Town as the first spoke, and the South African Medical Research Council, which will be overseeing the local innovation pipeline. An essential element of the hub is to be the center of excellence for technology transfer and training. What that means is that the mRNA vaccine process is developed and optimized within the hub. And then that whole process, end-to-end -end manufacturing, along with all the regulatory and quality aspects are transferred to the various spokes. The Global mRNA Hub, which is hosted in Afrogen, incorporates a pilot-scale vaccine manufacturing facility, which will be GMP accredited, and it will be the first uh, facility that will be capable of producing clinical trial material on the continent. I think Thermo Fisher is very much in touch with the Africa realities. I think um, your technologies are in many cases generic, but your approach is very personalised. The first step for the Global mRNA Hub is to produce the first um, COVID mRNA vaccine on the continent, which will go into clinical trials. A local innovation pipeline is included. We're asking the question, what happens beyond COVID? What diseases do we address? This will include diseases of, in Africa that have a high burden, like TB and HIV. And then also we'll be looking at neglected diseases. Included in the mRNA Hub is a consortium of universities and scientific organizations that will contribute to the full value chain of vaccine manufacturing. The time frame that we are working with is very ambitious. We are hoping to have the first COVID mRNA vaccine produced on African soil in clinical trials, phase one, in 18 months. 
Hydrogen's pilot facility will be capable of producing 10 million vials per year, and that's equivalent to 30 million doses. The mandate goes way beyond COVID-19, and we are establishing this platform um, based on COVID, but it will seek to address many other disease areas, particularly high burden of disease in Africa and low middle income countries. Afrigen's vaccine facility was designed to be a multi-product GMP accredited facility. This led to an amazing partnership between Thermo Fisher Scientific, Labotech and Afrigen. We are engaging with the clinical trials teams, we are engaging uh, with uh, the non-vaccine components of the Thermo Fisher group and as Afrigen is now establishing a mammalian cell platform for the production of biosimilars and, and monoclonal antibodies, we see enormous opportunities in working with the Thermo Fisher groups of companies. The high performer single use fermenter is one of the fermenters within the Thermo Fisher range, which has been specially designed for the cultivation of bacteria. The high performer single use fermenter is a critical part in the first step of the mRNA vaccine production. It is where the DNA plasmid is made through an E. coli cultivation process. Thermo Fisher and Labotech have provided amazing technical support to Afrigen and the global mRNA hub thus far. They have invested heavily in terms of time, money and expertise to support this very important work. And I found that the Thermo Fisher officials has not only technical depth, but they also take time to understand the environment in which they have to add value. It's a wonderful partnership for us.